Tom Snee reporting for Total Telecom TV here at Connected Britain. I'm delighted to be joined on the Nominet booth by their CTO, Simon McCullough. So, Simon, a few people may be familiar with the name Nominet from your background, but what exactly is it that you guys do? So, Nominet are the company behind the .uk domain. We're the registry that looks after the 10.5 million .uk domains and runs the infrastructure behind that. Uh, we're a business, a public benefit business that's been doing that since 1996. Uh, and uh, the .uk domain's grown hugely and become enormously popular and trusted around the world. One of the technology uses that you have, TVWS, TV white space, is really truly fascinating. Can you explain a little bit about how that works? Absolutely. So TV white space is an area we've been looking at for the last two or three years. Um, what TV white space is, is the use of the frequencies that used to be used for analog TV. We've all, of course, moved over to digital TV these days, so that frequency is now available. Now, the government decided instead of licensing that off to the mobile operators, as they've done with 3G and 4G and soon to be 5G, um, what they decided to do was make that frequency available for use in an unlicensed form. What that means is then we've been able to create a solution that dynamically manages that spectrum so that the individual blocks of that spectrum can be licensed out on a very minute by minute basis to for use for Internet of Things devices, rural broadband, uh, smart car connectivity and it's a really smart way of using a small band of frequency and using it really really efficiently. And you mentioned rural connectivity I mean, this could be a really important technology in bridging that digital divide. Yeah absolutely what we one of the things we didn't expect when we set off on this journey was actually the use we we saw it primarily as a use for connecting IoT devices. But actually, as we started to do the research, we started to work with other providers. We discovered it was a great channel for providing rural broadband for people. And we found we were able to actually get speeds comparable with, with fixed line and copper actually quite efficiently. What that's meant is that we've been able to run this out to rural communities where economically it's difficult to run even a copper line, let alone a fiber line out across hills and, and uh, uh, through forests. And one of the great advantages of TV spectrum is it, it's a great, it's a big long wavelength. And that means it follows terrain, it goes around trees, it goes through walls and windows. So it's a great technology actually for connecting people up at distance and also cheaply as well. It's a very cheap kit. The equipment's been around for many, many years for our TV. In fact, if you look at any of our installations, you'll see actually a traditional TV aerial powering it. So it's a great technology, it's cheap, and it's a great way of bridging that divide for people that actually fibre is a long way away, both physically and actually in timescales. Simon, really interesting technology there. Thank you very much for your time. Great pleasure.